Okay, welcome. Uh, in this little tutorial, I want to show you how to make checkpoints in your jump run game. So we have uh, yeah, some uh, simple and... Oh, there's a dog barking outside. Uh, okay, it doesn't matter. We have a little um, frog here. And we want this frog to respawn when it hits this dev uh, actor, dev sign or something. So let's see what we have. Okay. So far, uh, so far you can play him. Yeah, it looks, it looks a bit crap, but doesn't matter. Just for a demonstrational purpose. So, join. And there we go. Here, he is again. So, um. Oh, bad. Okay. Next checkpoint. And there he is again. Okay, so you may uh, wonder how this works. Um, well, first of all, you need some some checkpoints, of course, and place these somewhere, like so. And now let's have a look uh, behind the scenes. Uh, oh, wait. So, okay. Most important, we have. Uh, Collision checking, and here you can see that I have a collision checked for any side of dev. Dev is this uh, dev actor here, and now let's see what it does. Oh, uh, any side of dev edit action. Okay, you can see uh, first of all a little uh, at a little um, velocity, and then. A temporary disabling this little oh this was bad temporary disabling events most important the collision so that when it uh, when the player does hit the dev sign dev actor that he doesn't uh, collide over and over of course we have to enable it again okay so far um, wait a moment more important is this one the checkpoint uh, wait a minute, I'm missing. Uh, damn. One moment. So, okay. And where's that window? Uh, window, where are you? I thought I made a mistake. Oh, I'm stupid. So, collision. Ah, yeah, here, here it is. Okay, player collision with with checkpoint. So we have here any sort of checkpoint. Repeat, no. Edit action. Here you can see that I've created a global variable, and uh, this uh, the position position of uh, one of these uh, checkpoint signs. The x and y position was stored in this global variable. So that we can, um, yeah, uh, place the player back when it will hit uh, this, some of these dev things, whatever. <laughs> can just create this global one here, global integer. Okay, and uh, so what happens? When he, when the player does hit this thing here, it's no magic. I can tell you. Wait, add a collision. Script to create timer. Yes, we created a respawn timer. Oops. And so that we have yeah some some respawn time to show this uh, death animation or whatever. Edit collision. <coughs> Script. I'm, I'm confused. Create oh. any side of dev. It must be here. So no. Huh? I, I think I'm nuts or something. Please something else. Checkpoint. Uh, point. Ah, yeah. Of course. Timer event. So after two seconds. This will happen, which is most important. We just changed the player's position 
back to uh, where the last checkpoint has been yeah checked grabbed or something Okay, I think this is the most u useless tutorial at all, but um, I think I will make another one and uh, get back to you. Okay, thanks for your attention. Bye.